Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So ever since I started making videos, you guys have always been asking for me to make editing tutorials. And recently on one of my recent vlogs, I actually mentioned that I will be making editing tutorials on my new channel. So here's the first one. Here's the first editing tutorial. Recently, I have been using this shake effect on all of my Instagram edits, nearly all of my Instagram edits at least, wanting me to make a tutorial on my shakes. I use them for my Instagram edits and the intros to my vlogs. I don't really use them anywhere else because the effect doesn't really look that professional. It's just a hard hitting shake on kind of the bass to the music. It fits well definitely for Instagram and intros, but I wouldn't say for like a long professional video for YouTube or anything like that. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get right into it. And I'll show you guys how I make my shakes. So now we have the screen up here. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my shakes on Adobe After Effects 2018. So we come here, we have my project file. I just made something real quick here to use as an example. First off, you're gonna wanna right click on the timeline, click new adjustment layer, or you can press Ctrl or Y on your keyboard. Then come up to the effects and presets, type in S underscore shake. Now I'm using a plugin for this, which is the Sapphire plugin. If you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to do shakes on After Effects without any plugins, let me know in the comment section down below. But for now, this tutorial is using S shake. So you just wanna drag S shake onto the adjustment layer. Before we get into the S shake though, transform, which is just basic scale position, rotation and all that. You wanna have it underneath S shake. Wanna go find where your first beat is, which is right here. I'm gonna click the stopwatch, type in 150, control shift, left arrow twice, type in 100 to the right twice, which goes 20 frames left and right. So now that we have uh, this whole thing. So it's not smooth or anything like that. You want to click U on your keyboard, go to the graph editor, come here and click edit speed graph, drag this down and drag this side down as well. And now it looks like this, which is a lot smoother, I think. So it's just the scale going in, turn on S shake. Now these are my settings. Now for amplitude, I'm going to be typing in 10, frequency seven, go to the X shake. I'll leave that on 72. This, I'll bring that down to 20. Come to the tilt shake. I hate the tilt shake. So I take that straight down to zero every time. I really don't like the tilt shake. And then of course, turning on motion blur. Keyframe that has the 150 scale height on it. We go on the same one, click the stopwatch for amplitude and we go right twice, which is 20 keyframes with control shift right. And then we go back the other way, click zero again. We go like this, which is basically what we did for the scale, but you use the middle ones as well. This is what my shake looks like instantly after you put all the settings I usually put in at first. So it looks like that. I usually like having the shake kind of drag out a bit after it first impacts. So you bring the scale a bit further down and the end keyframe of the S shake further down. And it should look like this and the shake just like kind of keeps going a bit and slowly stops and I really like that. So now that you have the S shake done, you can close this down, find where your other beats are, literally just copy, paste. So basically guys, that is how I make my shakes for my Instagram edits and my vlog intros, but obviously you don't want all the shakes being the exact same on every single beat. So you can just go into the adjustment layer, go to the X shake, maybe turn this one down to 20 and then turn the Y shake up to 70. It changes it around a bit. Just tweak each adjustment layer and the shakes will look different and unique each time. Basically, this is how I do my shakes. You guys have been asking for a very long time. So I decided to show you guys and make a tutorial. Just export it, post it to Instagram, have a good time using my shake settings. If you guys did enjoy, comment down below what other tutorials you wanna see. And I'm sorry if this tutorial wasn't great. It was my first one, I kinda rushed it. It was fun to make it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please show this fits and respect. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.